Hello! This video briefly describes a low-cost method to perform closed-loop control of robotic systems using any device that can produce and record audio, no matter if it's an old PDA, a tablet computer, a discontinued mobile phone, or a brand new one, as long as the device can generate and capture audio. Even netbooks and standard computers can be used. The system uses dial tone multifrequency, DTMF, which are the tones used in telecom applications. These tones can represent up to 16 values through a combination of two audio frequencies. In order to control actuators, a device generates a DTMF signal which is connected to a DTMF decoder that translates this tone into a 4-bit binary word. The input is simply connected through a standard audio jack. In the robot that we built, these bits are connected to a motor driver circuit that controls two motors independently. To read sensors, a DTMF tone is generated by an encoder circuit according to the sensor states. The mobile device then recognizes the DTMF using a Fourier transform. For this video, we connected a speaker so that it's possible to listen to the generated tones. As the device detects the tones, the DTMF digits are decoded. As we can hear, different sensors generate different audio tones. This robot uses this technique to be controlled by an Android-based phone. Smartphones have a wide variety of interesting features for robotics, such as high-resolution cameras, accelerometers, GPS and compass. In this robot, a handmade optical encoder makes possible a closed-loop control. The phone application has a built-in web server, so that it's possible to control the robot without any intermediate server or computer. We also use an Android voice recognition system, which works in Portuguese, English, Spanish and several other languages. We can say phrases like Move forward 32 Or move back nine. Move forward five. And as we just saw, the robot moves the amount of centimeters asked by the user. This complete robot costs less than $30, including frame, electronics and sensors.